Precious Plastics is an amazing movement started in the Netherlands by a guy called Dave Hackins and he came up with these really cool like low-tech plastic recycling machines and rather keep it to himself he put them all out open source and now there is like a worldwide movement. We take bottle tops which are brought to us by members of the public. People turn up with a big bag, which is really nice because it, it's engaging the, the local community in what we're doing. We shred them up and we use our injection molder to, to make them into the lovely new products. So the shredding process works um, by we take our plastic bottles and they go um, through a load of teeth connected to a motor and it crushes it into um, sort of sub five millimeter particles. Um, they, can, they, they can be injection molded then um, at the next stage. The mole injection is a really simple process. It's a giant glue gun. Instead of a glue stick, you've got shredded plastic and what it goes through is a heating cylinder and then when it's heated up like a glue stick, you just squeeze it all out um, in a really high pressure environment into, directly into the mold. We had a bit of funding from the Marine Litter Research Group, which we've put towards building a bike-powered shredder, um, part of becoming even more carbon neutral. Um, so we've got an exercise bike with a big flywheel connected to another shredder, uh, and that's all, all human-powered, so we're looking to become as low carbon as we possibly can. We're running a crowdfunder campaign, um, which is matched by um, Plymouth City Council as part of their Back the Future, Campaigns. And we're looking to get a couple extra machinery for our little process. Um, a couple things include a heat press, which melts plastic into large slats and sheets. Um, an extruder, which produces filament possible for 3D printing. And finally, solar panels, um, an attempt to power all our machinery through green energy. We've got soap dish moulds, button moulds and a pot mould. Um, we're currently working with the university to make uh, as many as we can and hopefully with the crowdfunder funding we're looking at one of the stretch goals of being able to purchase a CNC machine to be, to be able to make our own in-house which would be a huge step forwards for us. We'd like to make it bigger and better so that actually we can be a local recycling facility. I think there are lots of makers who could, who could tap into this as well. Precious plastics, uh, machinery and moulds can be easily applied to many industries and fields. So for makers, we can make things like jewellery, um, little backs of um, earrings. For businesses, we can create things like pots for the little plants that they sell, um, little propellers for toys, and essentially whatever that the injection moulder can fit, we can make. One of the ways we'd love to get uh, local businesses involved with precious plastics would be through um, mould making service and getting people in to make their moulds with us, um, which has the huge benefit of anyone who wanted parts made, new products, um, any makers who want, want things made in any, any batches um, can come to us and use um, recycled plastics rather than sort of virgin plastics. People are interested to get involved. We, we run workshops, which would be really great if people wanted to sign up and come along and join in. Um, and also makers, communicators, educators, environmentalists. Very happy to have people on board if they want to come and like, help with the process or, or however they would like to help.